Hello guys, I'm Peter from Bilderberg and in this video I'd like to show you how you wire one of these OEM 727 fire handles if you get your hands on one of these. Uh, watch this video because uh, it might seem pretty straightforward but at least I was a bit frustrated today and I'd like to share that with you so hopefully you will save that frustration. On the back here you have a cannon plug, a 31 pin cannon plug and pin number one is in the middle and then it clockwise goes out from there, pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so forth, all the way to pin 31, which is at the very outer of the plug. Corresponding female cannon plugs can be found at around, I found them at around 40 euros, 40 dollars. And you need three of them, of course, because you have three, three uh, handles. So that's around 150, uh, 120, 150, dollars euros for corresponding female cannon plugs they can be found but they are expensive i'm using this 3d printed bayonet mount instead and the reason is first of all it's cheap because it's 3d printed but furthermore when i put the handle in uh, it keeps the handle in place because it does require quite a lot of force to pull the handle up and down um, and I was afraid if the plexiglass here, that is the, the panel, was going to break from all that force being applied either upwards or downwards. So I'm going to mount this onto a piece of wood at the bottom and hopefully relieve the plexiglass up here for some of those forces. And that's why I'm using these instead. Wiring this ought to be pretty straightforward because here on the other side you have a wiring diagram. So it's just a matter of reading the diagram and finding the corresponding pins here at the, at the cannon plug at the end. So pin, uh, many of the pins are used to tell the aircraft whether or not the handle is up or down. And that's pin 5, 10, 16, 19, 22, 25, 30. And those correspond with pin 4, 6, 9, 11, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, 23, 24, 26, 29 and 31. And the reason you have so many pins going in and out of this handle telling the aircraft whether or not uh, the handle is up or down is because once you pull up the handle, different systems in the aircraft is bypassed. So pulling up the handle uh, affects a lot of different systems in the aircraft. And the way the wiring is done in the Boeing 737, you have one wire going directly from one place to another. You don't have a wire, one wire coming out of this uh, unit here and then at somewhere in the aircraft it splits into four, seven different systems. If you need seven systems, if seven systems need to know that the handle is up, you have seven wires in and 14 wires out, one saying up, one saying down. In interfacing with this in your cockpit, you can just use pin five as ground and then four and six as telling uh, your, your system if it's up or down. Then you have uh, pin one and two, which goes for the uh, lighting of illumination of the handle. It's light bulbs that require 28 volts, and that's pin one and two. You could consider changing these light bulbs to LED strips, 12 volt LED strips instead. Uh, that will save you some, 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 some current, some power, because they do, uh, these light bulbs, they do require a lot of power when lit but it will not uh, eliminate the need for 28 volts uh, power supply because inside here, there's a solenoid as well. And the solenoid prevents you from lifting the handle. So you can bypass the solenoid by pressing this switch, but apart from that, you're not able to lift the handle unless the solenoid is activated. Of course, because now I bypass the solenoid, I can lift the handle because lifting the handle starts bypassing different systems in the aircraft. So in order not to lift it by accident, there's a solenoid here that activates once you actually need the handle. And that solenoid is connected to pin 27 and 28 and requires 28 volts to function. That's why you still need that 28 volt power supply. I found a 24 volt power supply that I was able to adjust the volume. There's a small adjustment nut uh, screw and I turned it up to 28 volts and that's how I get 28 volts for this, but I think you might actually be able to make it work with just 24 volts. It's worth a try. Then there's the turning of the handle like this, either to the right or to the left. And that's pin three, seven, eight, 13, and 14. 
and that ha has caused me quite a lot of frustration today. Actually, I've used most of my day trying to figure out when I turned the handle to the right, why I didn't get a signal here at the bottom. And um, it says clearly here, pin three, seven, eight, 13, 14. And it wasn't until after like five or six hours that I recalled that when I got these handles a few years ago, I had the same frustration. I just didn't document why, what the solution was. Well, you see, the handle can be in the center position and then you can turn it to the left and it rests here and it does require quite a lot of force to turn to the left. So it's, it's very clear here, the handle rests at the left position, but you're actually able to twist it even further, just like five or 10 degrees or so further to the left. And the same goes over here for the right position. Here it rests and you can twist it further to the right. And it's not until you pull it that bit further that it actually activates the switches. So nothing is happening here, but when you pull it all the way to the side, you get a signal on the pins here, and it's seven and eight for one side and 13, 14 for the other side, the three is ground. So that was my frustration. And if you are lucky enough to get your hands on these, I just had it laying on my table today, trying with a, with a multimeter to get a signal, and I realized that I have to twist it even further. So that's why I wasn't able to get a signal through. So when you get them, don't be frustrated. You just need to pull it further to the side, then it will work as described here. So interfacing these isn't very difficult. You need a 28 volt power supply, and you need to be aware that the handle should be turned all the way to the side in order to activate the fire extinguisher. And that's it. I'm Peter from Bill Lippo, and you guys take care.